Today's recipe is a delicious homemade pizza, and I'm making the pizza dough because I don't often show how to make pizza dough, and I usually use store-bought, but it's so easy, and I make it myself all the time at home, and it's really fun, and the kids can help if you have kids, and they really enjoy it. I just added two packages of yeast. It's active dry, not the instant yeast, use that, to one and a half cups of warm water. If it's not active, it's just gonna sit there and do nothing, and if it is active, after about five minutes, it's gonna start bubbling and there's gonna be foam all over the top. I tend to not wait the full five minutes, but when I see things start popping to the surface, I just go right ahead with my recipe. So that's what I'm gonna do. Add two tablespoons of sugar. Sugar helps feed the yeast and makes it more active and work more quickly. You can add it or not add it if you don't want to. A quarter cup of olive oil. And then two teaspoons, of course, salt. It's a big recipe and makes enough for quite a few pizzas. That's why so much salt. Four cups of all-purpose flour. You just stir everything together, so no gradual adding here. Stir until a sticky dough forms. This is a kind of loose dough, but it's not gonna get kneaded. You just stir it together in this bowl and then transfer it to another bowl to rise. It's gonna look a little bit shaggy and a little bumpy, not as smooth as you might see your doughs if you're, say, at a pizza place or buying your dough from the supermarket. What you're gonna to wanna to do is just add a little bit of oil to a clean bowl and then transfer your dough. It all came together nice and clean off the sides of the bowl, but it's still kinda of sticky, which is why there's oil in the bowl. Swirl it around, I like to turn it over. Cover with plastic wrap and let it rise in a warm, but not too hot place for an hour, at least until it's doubled in bulk. When your dough is risen, get your toppings ready. Today I'm making a springy vegetable pizza with one pound of asparagus cut into pieces, a pint of cherry tomatoes, also halved, one can of the marinated artichoke hearts that are drained. Season that with a little bit of salt, and that's your topping. Stir it together. Make sure that when you drain your artichoke hearts, you save some of the oil because you're gonna brush the edges of the pizza for a nice golden color and a little bit of extra flavor. Stir that together, set it aside. Here's the dough. This dough is actually enough for four whole pizzas. If you're not making four pizzas, separate it into the size that you want, wrap it up and freeze it. And then you can take it out and defrost it just like the frozen pizza dough that you buy at the store except you made it yourself and I bet you it's a lot cheaper. Once the dough is risen for an hour, you take it out, you knead it just a couple times. This is where your kneading comes in, but it's very minimal and it's fun. I love playing with dough. Cut into four. So these can be frozen if you're not using them right away. If you keep them in the refrigerator, the rising will slow down so you can slow the process down a little bit if you want to by refrigerating it. Then you roll each piece into a 14 inch oval, or as close to an oval as you can get. I generally do a combination of stretching and rolling, and if you find that your pizza dough is too springy, it springs back too much, just let it rest for a few minutes. You can cover your pizza dough with a kitchen towel, just walk away, come back in like 10 minutes, and the glutens will have released a little bit, and it'll be much easier to handle. Transfer it to a baking sheet. I'm not kidding, this is the weirdest shaped pizza I have ever made, and I've made some weird shaped pizza. Whenever anything doesn't look perfect the way that you expect it to, just call it rustic. Huh? Are we on the same page? <laughs> Add half of your vegetables. Have your oven preheating to 500 degrees. Pizza wants a really hot oven. Brush the edges of the dough, the exposed parts, with some of that marinade from the artichokes. And then pop it into the oven for 10 minutes. The cheese is gonna go on later. It doesn't need to cook quite as long as everything else. After 10 minutes, it's nice and golden brown and almost completely cooked. Now it's time to add the cheese. About one and a half cups to each pizza. This is Gruyere, your choice obviously of what kind of cheese you like. And then back in the oven just until the cheese melts and gets a little bit of brown spots on top. Look at that beauty. Homemade, start to finish, dough included pizza. Chop it up, eat it up. 100% made by you pizza, 
for dinner tonight. Mm. Super easy, super fun. Get the kids involved. They're gonna love it, you're gonna love it. Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click here if you wanna subscribe and click over here if you wanna continue watching more great videos like this.